Welcome back. In our last video, we had a look at this 3 watt mono Bluetooth amplifier board. The problem that I had with this board was that the Bluetooth reception would fail any time that the music source wasn't in direct line of sight with the amplifier board. Well, I remembered that I had a second board laying around, so I decided to test that one out as well. Here's what I discovered. Okay, um, just for shits and giggles, we've got a, I've got a second one of these amplifiers, amplifier Bluetooth boards, and uh, I'm going to see how this one performs. Alright, well, I'm having problems making this one fail. Well, it's the same manufacture date on it, same version. So this is just crazy. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I guess the other board I had must have been defective. Because this one's working like a charm. Alright, let me have a look at that other board and see if I can figure out what's going on. Well, I had a look at uh, both of the boards. Um, the malfunctioning board is on the left, the, uh, the second board, the working board is on the right. And as you can see, uh, what we've got in the picture here is the, uh, is the Bluetooth chip. And you can see that the, uh, the numbers on the Bluetooth chips are different. Um, now I've looked up these numbers online and nothing comes up, so I'm not sure if this is a, a run code on on each of the chips or if it's a different chip that's being used in the in this in between the first and the second board and the second chip is working a whole lot better than the first one so I really don't know if this is a quality control issue or um, or what the problem is because the date code the manufacturing code on both boards was the same um, so I really don't know what's going on here and um, you know, I still can't recommend this board. I, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is order a few more of these boards um, because they're they're relatively cheap, and um, you know, because I have one that that's working and working perfectly now, I'm wondering um, whether or not that first board was just a malfunctioning board, or whether or not there's been a new chip that's being used. So if I can go ahead and order more boards, I can compare and uh, and see what's going on um, so uh, stay tuned uh, in the future for um, for some new um, boards coming in and uh, thanks for watching